my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 minutes of Zen. In these videos, I show you how to draw one tangle using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today, I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen, a graphite pencil for shading and drawing, and a blending tool called a tortillon. That's typically all that I use to draw my tangles, but today I do have two markers, a blue and a red. So the tangle that we are drawing today is called FWF Fun with Flags. So I'm going to be making um, the American flag, the, the flag of the United States of America, and not exactly, but I'm just using the colors that we have in our flag. So feel free to create your own flag, pick your own colors, whatever you would like to do. And then I'm using a two inch by two inch tile called the Bijou tile. And you can get these at zentangle.com. Okay, so Fun With Flags was created by Angie Giddles, a CZT. You can find her at Zent Angie on social media. I will also link her page in the description in case you would like to follow her. She's an amazing artist and a wonderful Zentangle instructor. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to start with my pencil and I'm gonna put a dot in each of the four corners. And then I'm gonna connect those with a pretty straight line today. I'm going to do it nice and light in case I want to adjust it. And then we need to divide this little box up into four smaller boxes. So I'm going to put one horizontally and one vertical. And then just step back and look at it to see if they are pretty even. If you need to adjust yours, go ahead and adjust it now while it's in pencil. And then I'm going to continue in pencil for just a minute. So I'm going to take this first square up here and I'm going to divide it in half. And then I'm going to put a little line here. So flags are different in every country and, and for every, um, you know, every group or organization. But our um, United States of America flag has two parts, two main parts. This up here is called the Canton and this is called the Field. I just learned that when I was checking out Angie Giddles, um, her tile. So we're going to make the canton up here, and then the field is where I'm going to put our stripes. So I just want to get this put in up there. Then I'm going to put three lines down here. One, two, three. And one, two, three up there. So our flag has red and white stripes, and we have 13 stripes in the actual flag, but this is just a representation, so I'm not drawing 13 stripes. Then we have 50 stars representing our 50 states, and I'm not going to put those in. Okay, now I'm going to turn it, and I'm gonna do a line this way. And I'm going to divide that top portion in half. This is going to be the canton. Then I need to do three lines underneath. And three on top. Okay, now I'm going to put one this side. 
and divide that top portion in half. And I'm going to do one, two, three. One, two, three. If you Google Angie Giddles FWF, you can see all of her variations of flags that she has done for other countries and ones that she's just made up. So they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this again. Divide this in half and I want my square up in this top corner. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, time to switch to pen. So um, you can do this on a larger tile and make a larger grid. You could also combine this with other grid tiles and have the little flags in some of your grids and then some other patterns in other grids. I just love the look of this and I love using the red, white, and blue. Oh, I forgot I'm also using a gel pen. I forgot to mention that. This is a white jelly roll and I like to use the number 10 jelly roll. So I am gonna use that today also, I forgot to show you. Okay, I'm gonna start by doing that line across the top. And down the sides. Getting all of those filled in. And then I'm gonna do the lines through the center. There's a background noise, I apologize. My daughter is vacuuming. I think that's what she's doing, I don't know, but I hear a noise in her house. Okay, and then I'm gonna start by drawing that center line on that first little flag and the line going down. And then I'm going to draw the three lines inside. I'm going to turn off that sound. Okay, it was a fan. Then I'm going to put the three lines on the top. making sure each of these lines go all the way across. Then I'm gonna turn it, and do that center line. And now we're just doing some tracing, but I want to go slow. I'm gonna make the middle line of that previous flag come down, just so those line up. One, two, three. And if you'd rather only do two lines or you can fit in four, do whatever you'd like. Put in that center line. And you can see, sometimes I draw in pencil, and then when I go back with my pen, I make adjustments of where I want those to be. So I don't always trace exactly. And I like coming down from the center line of the previous flag.
So whatever colors you choose, it can be pencil, it can be um, markers, I'm trying to figure out which way this went. It could be anything that you have around the house. You don't have to use special pens for the colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my blue. And I'm going to color in this corner. The whole thing I'm gonna color in blue. And then I'm gonna take my white gel pen and go over the top. If you do not have a white gel pen, first of all, I recommend getting one, but you could always try to pencil in your design and color around it. I just think that would be a little bit trickier. And I'll color in this one. So in one of the variations that Angie does, she puts a couple little white dots representing the stars of our flag, which is a wonderful idea. But in another one, she puts a little flower pattern and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm gonna get all of these colored in. One more. Okay, back to the beginning. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my red ink. So for my red ink, I'm going to start at the top with a red stripe. And then I have a white and then a red. And then a white and a red. My last one will just stay white. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to start with the red again and the white. I hope that some of you make this and change it to be the flag from wherever you are from, or just make up a beautiful design. I just really love how this one turns out. I wanted to share it with you. So any kind of a pattern that you make in the square, doesn't even have to have stripes, repeating that four times and turning it as you go will make a beautiful little tile every time you do it. Okay. back to the beginning. So now I'm gonna take my white gel pen. And it's a little bit see-through, so it doesn't come out, you know, very stark white, but that's okay. And I'm gonna put mine on my finger just to get it started. Okay, so 
I'm going to make this little pattern in here. And if you have one of these gel pens, you just have to touch so lightly onto your paper. And then I'm going to make this little petal shape coming out. And another petal shape on each side. And then one last one into that corner. Isn't that so cute? So I love that you could put little dots in here representing the stars. But I also love that she changed it up and put something else in there. Just gonna squeeze those in. And after it dries, I may have to go over it again. I'm always starting that little flower shape at the center of the flag. First little petal, getting ink on my hands. And this way. And the last one, again, I'm starting that in the center. And putting in those petals. Squeezing them in if I don't really have room. And there we go. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading. These gel pens don't dry as quickly as the Micron. That's okay. We'll do a little bit of shading and hope we don't bump it. So I have my pencil. And I'm going to shade where each flag tucks into the next one. So this flag right here looks like it's going under this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pencil or graphite right there. And with my blending tool, I'm going to push it out. a little bit to give that shadow and that illusion that it's tucking in. And this one looks like it's tucking in on this end. I don't think I can put much graphite on that blue, but we'll try a little bit. And then I just push that out a tiny bit to have that illusion again that it's going behind. Now this one tucks in this way. It's hard to go over the marker, but just that added little detail gives this tile some dimension. I love it. All right, as always, we need to initial our work.
And on the back, write the date and write something that's on your mind or in your heart this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we'll see you again next week. If you live in the United States, have a wonderful Memorial Weekend. And thank you for following me. Bye-bye.